Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an orb in Photoshop. So the first step is to make sure you've got a square image. If you haven't, go to the crop tool, select one to one square at the top menu. That will give you a square image. You can actually move the image around to put it in the best place. But if you're happy with that, just press OK. And there we go. So what we're going to do now is start the orb. So then we go up to filter, go to distort, and select polar coordinates. Then you'll get this box. You will need to select polar to rectangular and say OK. That looks a bit weird, I know, but it will all come out fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the image again. And we're going to select image rotation. And flip the canvas vertical. Which again, the image looks a bit weird, but believe me, it'll look great when it's finished. So then we go to filter again and we go to distort polar coordinates. And this time we're going to select rectangular to polar and say OK. And that looks pretty good to me. This is the one I, I started off with and saved um, a couple of weeks ago. But then I decided to do something a bit extra to it. So I will show you what I did. So basically I applied an oil paint filter. So I went up to filter down to stylize and selected oil paint. Now I've got it, I've got it preset on stylization at the maximum, cleanliness on the maximum, and I've put these two sliders down to zero. Now, if I just briefly explain to you um, about sliders, stylization, adjust the style of the strokes. So 10 is smooth. And obviously zero is not smooth at all. In fact, it looks as though you've probably just thrown the paint at the paper. So I leave that on 10 because I want nice smooth strokes. The cleanliness adjusts the length of the strokes. So 10 is obviously the longest with zero being the shortest. The scale adjusts the thickness of the paint. Well, I'm not really bothered about doing that. And also the bristle detail, that's a bit self-explanatory. That moves from soft at zero to strong at 10. The lighting I just leave ticked and I don't actually mess about with that bit. It's all for you to experiment there, you know, because it, it's amazing that the different results you can get, but that's just my settings. So I'll press okay to that. And let's just zoom in. And already you can see, we've got a nice, nice oil paint effect going on. But what I decided to do, and you've got to be careful you don't overdo this oil paint because it can look a bit, um, a bit rubbish if you're not careful. So I went up to filter again, stylize oil paint, and just repeated the process. And as you can see, it's accentuated the strokes even more. So if we go back to that, we go back to that. And I thought, right, OK, do it a third time. So I'll do it a third time into oil paint. Hmm, that doesn't look too bad. As I say, it depends on what you're applying this oil paint filter to. So that's, a, that's three times I've done it. So if we zoom out, that's quite a nice effect. But if you look at it the first time around, that's probably how you might like it. But the third one definitely looks oil painter, if that's a word. And that's actually without it. Now, if we look at the image before, and now, I will say that not every image 
is um, not every image makes a good orb. You've just got to experiment and see what happens. What I'll do is I'll show you um, um, a couple more that I did. And let me just highlight. That one was a chrysanth. No, sorry, a dahlia. This one was a hyacinth. What am I talking about? Hyacinth. Hydrangea. That one was a hydrangea. And I've applied an oil paint filter to that as well, and that looks rather nice. This one was something like an Astra, I think, with the yellow centre, which I'm not awfully keen on that one. And then that one, I can't remember. It grows wild, and it's something to do with lace, ladies' lace or something like that. But that's OK, but I'm not awfully keen on that one either. So, as I say, it really depends. I mean, I do like that one. And quite like that one that one might look good in oil paint um so and as i say i do like this one as well so have a go have a go if you want to ask me any questions please leave them in the comments i would love to see your results that would be great if you'd leave your results in the comments um if you like my video please press like. If you want to subscribe and you want to see more videos, please subscribe and click the little bell because that will give you notifications of my latest videos. So go for it and have fun with it because it really is, it really is fun and you can get some quite stunning images. So take care everybody. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. Okay, bye for now.